Hey guys, so today I have my top 10 uh, spring lip colors and these are just the ones that I've been reaching for and the ones that I feel like are so pretty and flattering for spring. So I have my top 10 and I will just get started. So I'll start with my uh, MAC lipsticks that I chose. The first one I chose, which is not a super bright color, um, is Cream Cup. So I feel like this is a good color for spring if you want to do something a little more dramatic on your eyes and want just a nice, um, simple lip color that you don't really have to think about, don't worry about. Um, and I feel like this is a great color. So this is what that looks like. And I will swatch it on my hand for you. Okay. And that is what that color looks like. So that is Cream Cup. The next one is Candy Yum Yum. Now this is definitely um, a very intense color. But I feel like this is a perfect color for spring. It's time for the bright colors. And uh, this definitely is that. So I will swatch that. And that one is Candy Yum Yum. I'm not sure if you can see how bright it is, but this is like a hot, hot, hot pink. So that is that one. And the last matte color that um, I really like for spring is called Ravishing. And it is a nice kind of corally, uh, orangey color. So I will just go ahead and swatch that one. And that is what Ravishing looks like. So I think all of these three are great for spring. Um, corals and fuchsias are really in right now. And uh, yeah, so those are my three favorite MAC lipsticks for, um, for spring. My next uh, lipstick that I would recommend would be any of the Color Whispers. But the two that I chose are... Um, Cherry on top and Pin Up Peach. So Pin Up Peach is actually what I'm wearing now. And that is what that one looks like. And I will go ahead and swatch that on my hand. These have more of like a glossy finish. So if you don't really want like a matte look. Which I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not in love with the matte look for spring. But I feel like if you have the right color it can definitely work. So that is what Pin Up Peach looks like. And then Cherry on Top is like a pinky kind of red color. And I will show you what that one looks like. And that is what Cherry on Top looks like. Okay, so my next colors are from the Maybelline Vivids colors. So my first one would definitely be Pink Pop. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous Barbie pink color and I feel like it can just add so much to your look and so much even to your outfit and it just is seriously gorgeous. So I will swatch that one for you so you can see what that looks like. And that is what pink pop looks like. It is just a gorgeous pale Barbie pink color. And then the next one is also from the Maybelline Vivids color, and this is Fuchsia Flash, which this one probably is my favorite out of out of all of them. So I will go ahead and swatch that for you. And that one is Fuchsia Flash. So it is just a gorgeous fuchsia color that seriously comes up so bright. These are all super pigmented and just seriously look fantastic on. And um, my next two are both from their um, Revlon came out with I think four new lip butters I believe and I have two of them. I haven't found the other two yet. They've been out of stock at my Target and um, they haven't been at my other stores yet. So the two that I have are Sorbet, which I seriously love. That color is so gorgeous. So I will show you what that looks like. This is Sorbet. So pretty. 
And then the last one, or the next one, is Juicy Papaya, which is a gorgeous, like, orange coral color. And it seriously looks so, so pretty on. It's not, like, super, super pigmented. It's pigmented, but it's not, like, over the top. So you can, you, you can wear it and look, and it looks, like, good and not like you have, like, crazy orange lips so that is what that one looks like and then my last uh top lipstick or lip product for spring is a lip gloss and this is i'm not a huge huge lip gloss lip gloss fan um but i do really like this one and this one is a revlon um lip gloss and it is in the color lilac pastel and it is seriously so pretty you could do um you could wear this on its own or over top of something and it seriously is just so so gorgeous so if you don't really want like that bright pop of color this is an awesome pastel color that you could um you could wear so those are my top 10 lip products for spring. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it gave you maybe some ideas for uh, maybe some lip products to try out for this uh, for this season. And if you have any uh, recommendations for some really pretty lip colors for spring, make sure to leave me a comment or leave me a vid video response telling me your uh, favorite lip products for spring. And yeah, that is all. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video and leave me a comment. I will see you guys next time. Bye.